Uh, it's gonna be 370. Can we get to 400? 400 miles per hour? And <laughs> I was like 410. It feels nice, like those uh, mid-speed to high-speed corners. Like it just grips and goes. This is very, very good. YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Forza Horizon 5. And yes, folks, we're back once again, and today we are going to be trying something out here. So, last episode, we had the, uh, the fastest car in the game, the Jesco, and I had a lot of comments saying, Komodo, still not the fastest car. Uh, there is actually a bit of a glitch uh, in the game that essentially this Porsche is the fastest car. So I want to show you guys something. If you guys want to figure out how to do this, now I can't guarantee by the time you see this, it's not going to be patched, but uh, I followed a tutorial by Kyle Edward. I'll have it linked down in the description. And basically you turn it to manual gears, you turn off your stability control, and uh, all you got to do is shift up to second, hold the E-brake in, and hit the gas. So now you're probably noticing something a little bit strange. Yes, the horsepower is climbing and it's not stopping. So we're gonna hold this for, I'm gonna say about 10 minutes. See what happens. We have a jump at the end of this uh, little uh, drag strip here and I'm gonna see if we can fly across the map. So we are gonna also be doing like legit builds. I just wanted to try this glitch out because it looks absolutely hilarious. Also, I think we might eventually try to tune our Jesco a little bit because a lot of people are saying that there is about a 308 mile per hour tune available. So we'll definitely hopefully do that in the future, but if you guys are enjoying Horizon 5 on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And uh, let's go insanely fast. Also, comment down below with ideas for future builds. All right, so we are approaching the 400,000 horsepower mark. I, I think that's enough, right? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, release. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. No, there's cars in the way. There's cars in the way. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, go that way. Go that way. No, no, no. The jump is that way. The jump is that Oh! Oh, no! What is happening? No! <laughs> I just crashed it close to 300 miles per hour into a plane. Uh, please help me. Okay, we gotta do this in one more spot. You know, it's also kind of insane they haven't fixed this yet. This is dated back, like, at least a week that people have figured this out. Which, by the way, I have no clue how people actually figure this out. But, yeah, that's a thing. All right, so this is probably definitely going to be a little bit better point to do this. So, yeah, all we got to do, we're going to hold in the uh, e-brake, shift it in a second, and we'll uh, let it build back up. This should be a little bit clearer ramp, though. All right, here we go. And then there goes the uh, absolute insanity that is the horsepower. All right, so we're not gonna get quite to 400,000 horsepower. Let's start here. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Oh, that is insane. So yeah, you can pretty much hold this as long as you want. What are we gonna get up to? Uh, oh dear. 300. Uh, it's gonna be 370. Can we get to 400? 400 miles per hour? And <laughs> I was like 410. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> Why is this a thing? <laughs> Uh, at some point, do we just catch air and we just fly off the map or... Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, that would definitely be a, a new record there. Um, yeah, we flew from there. So that's a thing. I don't think we're ever going to build something that fast. But I just wanted to show you guys that it's ridiculous. Uh, I love it. I'm still surprised it hasn't been patched, but I'm sure it'll be gone soon enough. But you know what? I'm kind of in the mode of wanting to build something myself. Okay, so I'm in the market for another supercar here. I don't think we're going to match the speed of the Jesco, of course, but there's a couple good Lamborghini options here. And I must say this, uh, Sesto Elemento, I think I'm saying that right. Look at the stats on this thing. I mean, the only thing it's lacking is an off-road, but, you know, that doesn't surprise anybody. So it's $2.5 million, and do we dare actually pull the trigger on this? I mean, I kind of want to. I mean, do we need it? No. Does it give me happiness? Yes. Uh, you know what? Let's go for it. So I've got a paint job on there by Adrian MC83. Yeah, it's a really cool like skyline background. I, I really like it, uh, but I really want to just paint this myself, uh, not creating anything ridiculous. I have an obsession with like flat matte colors. Uh, there's something about them. 
Like, oh man, those reds, those actually do it for me there. But what if we were to change this over to like a, ooh, an orange would be kind of cool. I don't know, maybe a yellow? Uh, hold on, let's kick it back. That orange doesn't look bad at all. Uh, let's make it a little brighter here. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, I kind of like that. All right, so we're going to do something I uh, don't normally do. I actually never like switch out rims and stuff. I do a lot of times like the default rims on these uh, supercars, but I, I think we're going to actually change it up a bit. Okay, we're going to do some upgrades. Let's go ahead and look at the, uh, I'm sure there's like a splitter piece you can put on here. Let's go ahead and put that on. Uh, I don't want to affect the uh, handling too much. You know, I kind of almost like the default wing on the Lamborghini here, but... I want the adjustability, so we're gonna go with that. Uh, so we got those two things. What kind of conversions can we do? I know we can do an engine swap here. So you got like a racing V12. I mean, could you almost max everything out at 10 except for the off-road? Uh, should we do that? You know what? If we could come close to the speed of the Jesco, that'd be kind of cool. So right now we have it up to a uh, X-Class. So we actually hurt the acceleration a bit. You know, we could make this into a drag racing Lamborghini. Look at the acceleration and launch there. It's kind of weird that it knocks it down to an S2 class. I mean, we hurt the handling a little bit, but look at that launch. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some new rims here. I like these HRE Flow FF01. These are really nice rims. Uh, so we'll put those on there. All right, so installing this setup adds quite a bit of horsepower, uh, as you can see, and she shed a little bit of weight. It's not an X class though. So we're right below that, but I'm kind of curious with the drag tires, like how fast this thing can take off. I'm gonna tune it up a little bit and see what we can do with it. All right, we're gonna see how far off this thing is from my fastest car. So we're gonna stick about right here at the end of the drag strip. Uh, we're also gonna race this car. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, so we're gonna see our speed at the jump. Uh, probably give or take a couple miles per hour because I won't line up in the exact same spot But I wanted to give myself as much runway as possible Okay, we are gonna hit the jump at about uh, 241 That's not bad uh, Not bad at all. I think with some gearing changes. It'll be uh, a little bit better All right, so we're gonna do just a little test. I know my Lamborghini is gonna get its butt whooped like, I might actually uh, change the transmission into it and then adjust the gears, but how far off are we just from this little run-up? So we're looking at 241. All right, so there's 260, 270, 280. So 40 so Oh, that was a plane. This is what happens when you look at the speedometer the whole time. Uh, yeah, that's a good 40 miles an hour off. All right, so I've made a couple small changes. I changed out the gearing a little bit. It's now got a six-speed transmission, and I changed back to the stock compound on the tires uh, because, yeah, I want this to actually be in the X class. Now, of course, it's not gonna have the same speed uh, as the fastest car, but we know we're gonna go for handling. Uh, we'll uh, change the arrow back. I just wanna do a straight line speed test real quick, and then uh, I'll probably bump the downforce back up. I actually have it really far down. Oh, it's so unstable now. Uh, a lot of wheel spin. Okay, here we go. Uh, see what we can get here. I want to try to avoid the uh, little barriers here. Oh, we are absolutely flying. And... Hey, we got close to 250. So, yeah, still 30 miles an hour off the fastest car. But you know what? If I tune uh, the downforce back up, this thing will probably handle like a beast. Let's go race it real quick. All right, we're heading to a race right now. So I've changed up a couple things on here and I actually want to run an experiment with a car like this. So we're going to run max downforce for a race uh, just to see what kind of grip we actually get. Like right now I'm on the default settings and it feels really good. So in theory, adding downforce is going to give you even more grip unless it's just completely imbalanced, which that could be a thing too. But I must say, I like the handling on this. I actually think I like the feel a little bit better than the Jesco. Okay, folks, we have arrow up to max. So let's run the race like this. And then I wonder if we can get away with going with minimal arrow. Uh, so let's see what we get here. Okay, still a decent bit of wheel spin. Not too bad though. Okay, let's just see the cornering. Oh man, the cornering is beautiful. But, question is, are we going to get killed down the straightaways with all this extra downforce? There's not many big straights on a short circuit like this. Oh, this is beautiful. The way it hooks up. 
On inside. I ah, overshot that one a little bit. That was more just me being bad at braking. Okay, come on. Uh, get the grip. It feels nice. Like those uh, mid-speed to high-speed corners. Like it just grips and goes. This is very, very good. So this thing has pretty minimal wheel spin uh, besides just the start. But like off the corners, uh, it's not struggling one bit, uh, which is really nice. I kind of wish there was a little bit faster corners in the circuit. Okay, try to brake. See, yeah, like trying to outbrake somebody here, there's just not really much doing it in the uh, supercars here. I guess if we had big, slower cars, we'd just run through people. All right, I'm having problems passing Spy Haunt. I might be able to get him here. Uh, oh, up the inside. I had to muscle him out of the way a little bit. So we're going to run the same race with minimal downforce and just see if we can place higher. Uh, okay, come on, Neil. I got to get by you here. I need one more position. Oh, that was a door slam and a half. There we go. And, ooh, geez. I don't think we can get another position here. I think this is where we're going to finish. But this will be a good experiment. All right, here comes the finish, and boom. So that one actually wasn't too impressive. The handling's great, but the circuit's really hard to get around. So does downforce really make all the difference? Let's go ahead and go back the other way with it. Okay, so here comes the arrow off. So we're going more towards the speed side. So that's quite a bit of downforce off. It's like 500 pounds on the front and the rear. So let's apply the setup. So question is, can I finish higher? So is it going to really matter? We're about to see uh, the takeoff feels about the same. It actually doesn't feel like that was any bit better. Cornering. Okay, it definitely feels a little tighter. Like it doesn't turn quite as well, but... Is the give up worth it? I'm not really sure. Okay. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, getting pushed off here. Oh, that was dirty. Okay. We got a lot of making up to do here on. We're going to get a good run through here. Uh, beautiful. Okay. I'm just going to bump door out of the way. It's fine. All right. Oh, okay. That power slide though. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like the, uh, the turning's not quite as good, but you know, it doesn't feel like it matters that much, which is weird. So almost like you would want to take the extra bit of speed you get. All right, so finish of the first lap. Uh, can we do better? Oh, okay, we're drifting through there. Okay, that's definitely where you feel it. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be a thing where you have to kind of tune it on a uh, race to race basis. Like if you got a, a big wide open race that you know is going to be down a lot of highways and stuff, definitely probably doing this would be good. But this little course here. It does require the downforce, which I'm kind of regretting getting rid of. Oh yeah, it's just, it's not hooking up at all, huh? And let's try to get up the inside here. I just, I can't cut the corner like I was doing earlier. Uh, come on. Oh, geez. Uh, it's kind of cool though that it shows you the difference uh, in the, uh, the way the arrow works in the game. Okay, third lap. We're definitely not going to finish better here. Though we took a car that was uh, really good, had great handling, great acceleration. And uh, I've made it into poop by taking all of its uh, aero devices away. So yeah, I think we've learned a lesson. Like I like this car better than the uh, Jesco as far as handling. Of course, it's gonna kill it on a uh, uh, top speed. But as far as a racer, I like the way this car feels when it's got the downforce. It's very, very nice. Uh, might be one of my new favorite cars, but yeah, you take away the downforce and it's a big slidey poo. Wow, 12th place, that hurt. <laughs> That was really, really bad. All right, well, that was pretty shameful. Well, you know what? To wrap up the episode, we're going to go uh, get another barn find. You guys actually uh, said you wanted to see me do these on camera, so we're going to go ahead and do that. But if you guys have any suggestions for future builds or uh, buys, really, maybe something that you guys have actually experimented with yourself. I mean, it's not always about speed. Uh, I actually like the handling portion. I actually think the handling portion might be a little bit more important, especially on some of those tighter circuits. All right, coming up to the barn find. What do we have here? What are we getting? Okay, it is a... Oh, it's an old Mustang. Nice. You know, that might be a, a future build right there. I got to wait a little bit for them to restore it, but... Yeah, let me know if maybe that's something we should do in the future. Maybe we, uh, we've kind of gotten our supercar fixed up and we should go maybe try uh, to do some muscle cars. All right, last but not least, we do have a wheel spin, so let's go ahead and see what we get here. Okay, looking like... Oh, very, very nice. It's a Maverick XRS Turbo R, a nice little off-roader. I believe that is a UTV. 
But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Forza. Thank you guys for all the love and support on the series. You guys are amazing. And we will see you guys next time.